The Red Bull team looks like it's about to implode. As one of the loudest voices has said Christian Horner must go or the team will be torn apart. That's right, if you thought the Horner story was over, Jos Verstappen has just blown it wide open. Christian Horner latest update. Formula 1 returned this week and yet almost everyone was talking about something else, something off track. Hop in our time machine as we take you back to Wednesday, February the 28th, when the long-awaited result of the investigation into Christian Horner was concluded. A statement from Red Bull read, The independent investigation into the allegations made against Mr Horner is complete and Red Bull can confirm that the grievance has been dismissed. The complainant has a right of appeal. Red Bull is confident that the investigation has been fair, rigorous and impartial. The investigation report is confidential and contains the private information of the parties and third parties who assisted in the investigation and therefore we will not be commenting further out of respect for all concerned. Red Bull will continue striving to meet the highest workplace standards. Horner was in the clear and that, as they say, was that. Or was it? Email leaked to F1 Media. A triumphant Horner returned to the paddock on the day of free practice and would have felt in a jubilant mood. For the first time, he felt pressure on his job but lived to tell the tale. Well, any smile he may have had would have been wiped away just 24 hours later. As cars completed laps on the track in FP2, a link to a Google Drive was sent to hundreds of F1 journalists as well as rival team bosses and the FIA and F1 presidents. What was on the drive? Well, 79 images of what appeared to be Horner's incriminating messages. Horner immediately went into survival mode, denying they were from him and refusing to comment on it any further. But once again, it put him in the crosshairs. Horner said, I won't comment on anonymous speculation, but to reiterate, I've always denied the allegations. I respected the integrity of the independent investigation and fully cooperated with it every step of the way. It was a thorough and fair investigation conducted by an independent specialist barrister and it has concluded dismissing the complaint made. I remain fully focused on the start of the season. And yet, even a dominant Red Bull 1-2 result in Bahrain was not enough to stop him being the centre of attention. Horner's very public show of support. Up until now, Horner had been looking like an isolated man, alone against the rising tide, but he made sure to bring his allies with him to Bahrain. His wife, Jerry Horner, made the 4,000 mile trip from the UK to be by his side at the race, making sure to hold his hand whenever a camera was near. But perhaps more importantly was the presence of Thai billionaire Chalem Ubidia, better known as the majority owner of Red Bull GmbH. It's clear that Horner has the support of the Thai side of the company and his own wife, but it's by no means a united Red Bull all round. What has Jos Verstappen said? The sight of Jos Verstappen in the panic will be a fangirl one for even the most casual of F1 fan, but there may be a few not familiar with just how hot-headed he can be. A former F1 driver himself, Jos has built a reputation of saying anything he likes, and along with Helmut Marko, is someone Red Bull have never been able to control. Let's go back to 2022 for example. After Sergio Perez won the Monaco race and Max Verstappen finished third, you would think Jos would recognise it was a good day for the team and leave it at that. Wrong. He took to a blog post to criticise the strategy choices of his son's employers. He wrote, Red Bull achieved a good result, but at the same time exerted little influence to help Max to the front. That he finished third, he owes to Ferrari's mistake at that second stop of Charles Leclerc. The championship leader Max was not helped in that sense by the chosen strategy. It turned completely to Checo's favour. That was disappointing to me and I would have liked it to be different for the championship leader. Now, while his son has been sweeping up race win after race win, Jos has not had much to complain about, but with Horner being in the crosshairs, he's resurfaced. Jos told the Daily Mail, There is tension here while he remains in position. The team is in danger of being torn apart. It can't go on the way it is. It will explode. He's playing the victim when he's the one causing the problems. As for whether Verstappen was trying to oust Horner, for now, he's denying it. He said, that would have made sense, why would I do that when Max is doing so well here? Jos reveals inattention at Red Bull For as much talk Christian Horner has made about Red Bull being a united team, Jos Verstappen's comments show it's anything but. Soon after Verstappen's words were published, it was claimed Jos had been banned from the paddock for the next race in Saudi Arabia, but it's now been explained as him taking part in a racing competition elsewhere. As to what comes after, we'll have to wait and see. But Jos is not the only Verstappen Red Bull will now be concerned about. 
Max to Mercedes. The idea of Max Verstappen leaving Red Bull would have seemed crazy just a few short weeks ago, and yet now it's become a distinct possibility. German outlet F1Insider.com has revealed that the Dutchman has a clause in his contract that allows him to walk away should Helmut Marko decide to leave, something that could happen if Horner remains in his post. Marko was even asked about this, and all he had to say was, as far as I'm concerned, I won't stand in Max's way. But where could he go, we hear you ask? Well, there is one team with a vacant seat next year that might catch his eye. I think the driver will always choose the quickest car. Mercedes team boss Toto Wolff said. That is fundamentally what it's all about. At the moment, the Red Bull is the quickest car, so that will obviously be the priority. According to The Telegraph, Jos was openly courting and speaking with Mercedes chief Toto Wolff, who is an enemy of Horner and also seemingly called for his head. The pair were seen together on several occasions in plain sight in the paddock, while the pair both stayed at the Four Seasons Hotel and spoke at length there. The rumours of their collaboration come amid a turbulent time for Mercedes, with Lewis Hamilton's departure to Ferrari for the 2025 season, meaning they have a vacancy for next year. Max came very close to joining Mercedes in the past. And it's not as if Mercedes have not been interested in Verstappen before, and in fact, they were one of two teams trying to sign him back before he made his F1 debut. As a son of a former F1 driver, Verstappen was obviously on the radar of a lot of teams from a young age, but caught Wolf's eye when he was karting in 2013. Wolf said, I spoke to Jos and Hub Rottengutter, Jos Verstappen's manager during his F1 career, when they came to my office in Brackley, and that must have been when Max was in karting, or at the end of his karting days in 2013, just before Formula 3 in 2014. And then we spoke again when Max and Jos visited me in my house in Vienna. We spent a few hours discussing his future. It even got to the point that Wolf decided he would love to have Verstappen be part of the Mercedes team. The only problem was there was no room. In 2015, they had Lewis Hamilton alongside Nico Rosberg, and no room for a young rookie. Meanwhile, at Red Bull, who had two more seats than Mercedes thanks to Toro Rosso, they were able to offer him that F1 drive he was after. Wolf said in 2023, Do I regret missing out on Max? Certainly, but it wasn't an option back in the day. We had two drivers that I was extremely happy with in Nico and Lewis, and when Nico left at the end of 2016, Valtteri Bottas was then the option, and Max wasn't even available. So could Wolf finally be able to get his man? What of Christian Horner? A lot of these scenarios seem tied to the future of one man, Christian Horner. But in his mind at least, he's confident he's staying put. He told media in Bahrain, It's been very testing for my family, but we're very strong as a family and our focus is on this race. It's the start of the season and the team have done an incredible job over the winter to be starting on pole position in the best place possible. So let's see what we can do in the race. We're here to go racing and that's my job. So this is what we're focused on and this is what we're here to do. Asked if he believed he would still be team boss come Saudi, the 50-year-old replied, Absolutely. Red Bull then seems like a powder keg about to explode. But only time will tell who lights the fuse. In the meantime, make sure you subscribe so you keep up with the biggest story in F1, and we'll catch you next time here on the DRS Straight.